warning so it's pre-market open uh, we're looking at november 2015 uk wheat chart and we start with a monthly chart in front of us and you can see here we've got this monthly candle we're forming january this red candle here you see this candle here the december one the preceding one it's a candle of indecision and we're now testing the bottom of that candle uh, obviously prior to that we had a three month rally We've got a, a falling trend line, so the trend is down at present, um, but we are finding support uh, just above the 60 day, uh, 60 monthly moving average at 129.25. We closed last night 131.25. So I'll pop down into the weekly chart. <coughs> and here's the weekly chart you can see here falling trend line, last two years. We've had this rally last three months and we've pulled back. Uh, the big question now is how far we pull back and what happens next. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, marked here quite clearly, the green line is 60 uh, weekly moving average at 129, lining up with the monthly five moving average. And you can see here that comes under 2867, so they're all coming nicely together. And we've got uh, this um, sort of like hammer formation candle uh, making at the moment, uh, uh, testing and hitting this. Uh, 20 moving average weekly moving average here at the moment so let's go down and see if we've got any signs this is our normally weekly I've done some various um, studies here we'll just flip through this is the uh, weekly moving 20 20 weekly moving average on a closing basis on a, on a closing over the last five years and you can see how important this is I was trying to see whether the, the market um, tends to move or goes away from the mean of the 20 weekly moving average. And you can see here at the moment, we've come back to test the mean of it at the present moment. Um, this is the Elliott Way study here. And you can see here quite clearly, I've got a uh, one, two, three. So on, on a weekly Elliott Way formation, we're in a, a, a wave four, which is a, a three pattern wave, should have three patterns and should be consolidation and should not take out the base here of wave two, which is 124. So 131, so we've still got quite a bit that we could fall until we find support on this um, long-term chart. I've marked the wave fours here on the last five years. You can see here that when they take place um, and also how they tend to get revisited. So our last wave four is up 170. So that's an interesting fact to keep in the back of the mind that sometime over the next three years, we are going to see 170 revisited. Um, just coming quickly down here, this is uh, my study on the head and shoulders pattern. How many times we've seen it in the last um, five years? We saw it here at the bottom here, uh, at end of 2011. Here as a top in 2013, and I've identified one now that we've now formed in the bottom of 2014. So we are seeing a basing pattern. Uh, coming to fruition at the present moment, um, which would obviously line in quite nicely to find a, a hold on this preceding two year downwards trend. And then finally, <coughs> excuse me, I'm doing a, a weekly uh, time study just to see if I can get any cycles. Uh, that's for following on my January long term time, so, um, time study. And for some reason, um, I found out that uh, the market does turn on the 27th of January. And this has happened uh, to the T the last um, two, th two years uh, and three, four years. It's always changed within the last week to the first week in February. Um, and the move uh, following that 20, uh, on the 27th of January, the last week, <coughs> we normally see a 20, 20 pound a ton move. So basically, um, in 2014, we saw a low, uh, and then we broke this fall falling trend line, and through to March the 17th, we saw a 20 pound a ton move. The same happened in uh, 2013. We saw a high, and then the market fell 20 pound a ton to 11th of March. Um, on, in January, a little bit different here, and this is when we saw the head and shoulders pattern last, we saw a high here and it continued to rise till the 19th of March, 13 pound a ton. On the 7th of February, uh, same thing happened. It, we saw a high and then it fell down here to the 7th of March, 25 pound a ton. So what it's telling me is 
um, if you think three weeks ago I said that we'd look for a market turn on 27th, we can look for that definitely if history repeats itself, what it's, it's showing on this chart, it, it's likely to do, and we are likely to see <coughs> a move of £20 a tonne. So that puts us somewhere from where we are now at 100, over 150 or we're going to take out the lows. Um, so now trying to identify where we are on that move at the present moment. Um, it just briefly, this was my chart from the 9th of January and you can see I did my Fibonacci prediction and I'm calling there the 27th of Jan. But obviously I hadn't done a long term study to back my uh, findings up, but I, I, you know, that's what I found. And also I was calling for the market to come down and test um, a wave four bottom band 130. Well, that's where we are today. If I just pop down into the daily chart, you can see here quite clearly that we've come down into this um, 130 region here. We found support. Um, option one, uh, if we go for option one, which is the long term basing forma formation of a head and shoulders uh, reversal of that two year downwards trend, we are now just coming back to test the neckline of that. Uh, we've still got our element wave count in place one, two, three. So we're in a fourth wave. We've had an ABC correction um, and we're just breaking a falling trend line. So therefore, if that's going to happen, that should happen fairly quickly and we should see a rise to go back up and take the six day moving average and reclaim the gap. Option two is a reverse of that, obviously, uh, that we've had a, a, a mini head and shoulders on a three month rising trend line. Um, we haven't retested, had confirmation of that. We haven't had a retest of the six day moving average or the neckline. And then we come down to test the low of two here, uh, somewhere around the 124 mark. And then option three, obviously, is that um, we just do nothing. We just go sideways. Um, now, if you think back from what I was saying last week um, on my various studies, that um, that if we go if we if we're going to see um, option one, we need we need a confirmation of that. You know, to go back up and retest the next lot neckline. Um, option two here, you can see that, and nothing has happened. It's just gone sideways. So unfortunately, um, at the present. We're, we're in a, a transition phase, we're in a wave four, it's not trending. Um, um, I have no way of giving you a, a, an old, really um, uh, a definite answer to what's gonna happen next. My feeling is, my gut feeling is that probably we'll do nothing and go sideways, which is option three, and just form a base within a wave four completion. Um, but. All we know is on the 27th next week, the market is going to make a turn. That turn is going to be 20, 20 pound a tonne. So I feel that we're going to have to monitor it during next week. And next week's report, I'll try and identify if we've made that turn, which way the next trend is going to take place. Um, so in the short term, you know, if, if, you, if you've got old crops still to sell, it may be a good reason to, you know, to exit that position because there is risk of it a further downside on new crop selling. Um, I can't give you a definite answer on that at the present moment because obviously there is potential of a big basing formation taking place, uh, which is your uh, option one, if I can find it, and um, and w we we could be in for, for a you know a, a decent rise. So um, unfortunately, we, we can't proceed that at the present moment. Um, and we've really got to, um, here's the option one, sorry, I couldn't find that. Here's the option one, and we've got this big basing pattern, uh, follows in with the ailet wave, but we need to recapture that 60 day moving average and that gap. That's what's foxing me at the present moment, and that's why it's a bit of uncertainty. Um, we're in a way for, for situation, so, but we know um, it looks as though we've got our timing right, We've got our calculations right. All we've got to do is let the market show us what's going to happen next. And that's obviously what, what, what is going to happen next week. That's decision time. And hopefully we can jump on the next trend when it shows its hand. And thanks for watching. And I'll put an update next time next week.